We are in a race against time for smarter development. Are we using science to build the future we want? In 2015, the United Nations adopted the Sustainable Development Goals. Many countries have since aligned their national policies on these goals. But the fact is, we are not as far along as we should be. And the clock is ticking for countries to meet these goals by 2030. We are spending more on research as a share of GDP. This means that global research spending has grown faster than the global economy since 2014. But almost half of this growth, 44%, has occurred in China alone. Despite some progress, 80% of countries are still spending less than 1% of their GDP on research. In developing countries, companies spend less on research. They tend to import package technologies from abroad rather than develop their own. Governments are trying to make it easier for companies to innovate, such as by providing them with tax incentives or a nurturing environment in the form of tech incubators and technology parks. In Iran, government support for tech incubators has led to exponential growth in knowledge-based firms and startups since 2015. Tech incubators are now widespread in Africa. 13 African countries have more than 20 tech hubs. Worldwide, the researcher pool has grown almost three times faster than the global population since 2014. By 2018, there were 8.9 million researchers in the world. That is a million more researchers than four years earlier. Some governments are taking steps to improve the remuneration of scientists. In some countries, the number of researchers per million inhabitants has grown by at least 20% in just four years. Researcher density has grown most rapidly in low-income countries. Worldwide, scientific publications have surged by 21%. But the G20 countries still account for nine-tenths of researchers, research spending and scientific publications. International collaboration is growing, as more scientists publish with their peers abroad. This high level of collaboration bodes well for research on global challenges, such as climate change, biodiversity loss and infectious diseases like COVID-19. Our knowledge and use of digital technologies are evolving at breakneck speed. One of the fastest growing fields of research is artificial intelligence and robotics. At least 30 countries have adopted a national strategy for artificial intelligence. Digital technologies are transforming society as we know it. This rapid upheaval has been dubbed the fourth industrial revolution. In 2017, Japan adopted a new growth strategy called Society 5.0. The plan is to transform the Japanese way of life by using digital technologies to compensate for a declining population. Under this plan, flying drones will deliver goods to people living in depopulated areas. If there are not enough staff in care homes, robots will help to look after people. And with fewer people to work on farms, self-driving tractors will be used in the fields. In Brazil, the vast Amazon region has a population density of just four people per square kilometer. Digital technologies are allowing patients in rural areas to consult a doctor via the internet. In Ghana, flying drones have been recovering COVID-19 samples from rural clinics and delivering them to specialized centers for testing. The world is investing heavily in the digital economy, but in order to achieve our sustainable development goals, Investment must not only be digitally smart, it must also be ecologically smart. Some still think they have to choose between digitalizing their economy and greening their economy. Others are aware of the need to pursue their transition to green and digital societies in parallel. India has launched the Make in India program to diversify the economy and boost domestic production of high-tech products like cell phones and electric vehicles. India is also developing green energy sources to meet 40% of its electricity needs by 2030. Like many countries, India is striving to create cities that are both digitally and ecologically smart. That means green open spaces, renewable energy to power water and heating systems, and low emission transportation. The European Union plans to make 100 cities climate neutral by 2030. This is part of the bloc's new mission-oriented policy for research. The European Green Deal provides the most vulnerable member states with financial support to help them embark on their dual green and digital transition. 
Countries may need this support, for instance, in the event that phasing out polluting industries causes widespread job losses. The African Union's Agenda 2063 strategy places high priority on investment in renewable energy. In Kenya, geothermal power now reaches one in three households. It is also being used in horticulture. Kenya has the largest geothermally heated greenhouse in the world. Countries are using science and technology to advance their green agenda, but sustainability is not the predominant focus of global research. According to a UNESCO study of 56 research topics, it is developing countries that are publishing most, proportionately, on sustainability topics. They also happen to be the ones most affected by climate change. However, scientists everywhere are publishing much more on artificial intelligence and robotics than on sustainability topics. For example, in 2019, scientists published almost 150,000 articles on artificial intelligence and robotics, but only 2,500 articles on carbon capture and storage. Even though we urgently need to remove more carbon from the atmosphere to limit global warming. We have made some progress over the past five years, but we still have a long way to go to meet our sustainable development goals by 2030. Policies can only be effective if they are well funded. This means that we not only need to invest more in research, we also need to invest more strategically in research. Only then will we win the race against time for smarter development. <laughs>